Hey everyone, today we are at the Honor List special screening with Alyssa Down. <laughs> and this is On The Spot Interviews. Hello, how are you tonight? I'm very excited. I am too. I saw the movie um, a few weeks ago. It's oh, really? really great. Yeah, Lionsgate hooked me up. They're amazing. Thank you for the preview link. Yes, but uh, it makes it a lot easier to actually talk to you guys here about no, the movie because like, I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Because it's like it could be like a slasher flick, whatever, but yeah. it's not. And now I know what it's about. Um, so from that, I want to say I really did enjoy it. And for you as the director, Thank you for um, having such a big role in kind of making sure that everything came across within the script and within the characters because it is so realistic of a high school experience that females um, go through. I could see parts of myself in all of the characters, mostly so Sophie. She was kind of like me. Um, so, yeah, thank you for making that happen, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Oh, I mean, that's been the greatest feedback is that, you know, especially because I'm Australian and I didn't go to school here, but I think... I mean, there's so many similarities in, in the stories, like feeling rejection, feeling humiliation, feeling like an outsider, feeling like you're not good enough. That is the same wherever you are. And that was the thing that we just, you know, it was just really looking about the emotional complexities of being a teenager and female friendships. And that totally came across and um, I love that they all um, are, you know, this isn't a spoiler because this is in the synopsis. <laughs> I love how they all come together after the tragedy because yes. um, I think that's so important too. So did you um, specifically go through anything that any of the characters went through that kind of um, really hit home for you then when you had to direct the movie? Yeah, well, some of the things, um, well, for example, the whole, the death and the ashes. Uh, my father passed away a few years ago and my mum gave me a Tupperware container that's got dad's ashes on it. And that was something that I'm like, I think this would be really nice to bring to the film because it's very personal to me. And you usually see big urns in films. And so I just was like, I like the simplicity of that they've got a Tupperware container. And yeah, that was probably one of the things that meant a lot to me. Oh, that's beautiful. And that ending scene, it was it was great. And that scene in particular, to see them all together, like that made it even more powerful, powerful, I'm sure. Yeah, I mean, that was one of my favorite scenes to film. The girls, like as soon as we started rehearsing, they were bursting into tears and it was, and the whole crew were crying. And like, you know, there was one of the camera operators, I thought he got ashes in his eye, but he was crying because he was so moved by the performance. So that was, uh, for me, that's a big treat when you see the crew be moved by the story and the performances. Yeah, I, I didn't even think of that because obviously the actors are acting or maybe they are actually moved like in this yes. case, but to get it across to the crew, I mean, that gives you a lot of hope too that it will get across to the audience, which it did for me, so. Yeah, no, definitely, like the crew is the first audience and so sometimes when you see the crew, because most of the time the crew are focused on their job, not on the performance and so when the performance breaks through, you know that you've got something pretty special there. Well, the movie overall was just very special, and thank you for sharing that vulnerable story with us and with the viewers. Oh, it's thank really you so sweet. Much. Congratulations again, and uh, enjoy the screening again for I don't know how many times you've seen it, but enjoy it again. Thank you. Thank you so much.